knowledge about computing is about um, using knowledge to improve the computation. Today, uh, we focus on computing that involves very fast processing of data, uh, uh, processing bits and bytes, and we are good at that now. Look at today's web search engine. You can uh, access the entire web of billions of documents by using a search. However, what we are not very good at is to uh, do computations that improve human experience, that make human effective. So the knowledge enabled computing is about utilizing knowledge to go away from just data or information processing to processing that is more meaningful, processing that um, uh, makes uh, a human more effective in their decision making process, in making, uh, um, uh, getting new insights uh, into, uh, for, for their daily activity, for their business, their processes and so on and so forth. Take an example of a doctor uh, trying to decide on a medication of a patient. And um, uh, it would be very good if the doctor could ask a question in the situation that this particular patient is, his, 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 his systems, his current diagnosis, what will be the best treatment? And decide this based on the evidence. Decide it based on how has other patients in the same situation reacted to the same, to the condition that the patient has or to, to the diagnosis that I have for the patient. Twitris is another example of our work. Uh, today, um, uh, we have uh, things like Twitter and, and other social networking site, and people are sharing their observations, their uh, thinking, their perceptions um, uh, through these social networking sites, also called microblogging. And you, uh, they, they disseminate this information in the real time. But the amount of information flying around is huge. Uh, what is interesting is that things like Twitter has been used for disseminating latest information um, as, as in uh, the case of Mumbai attack, as in case of uh, China and Haiti. So understanding the conversation that people are having on Twitter and other social media sites by time, by location, uh, and by based on the theme, uh, you can do that kind of stuff using Twitter. What has also happened today is that there is a large amount of knowledge, human knowledge, background knowledge that is shared by people. For example, uh, Wikipedia, where millions of people have contributed their, the information that they have uh, through to this shared resource. And we have now uh, within our capability to extract all that knowledge and then apply to uh, new situations. That makes it possible for us to develop these knowledge services and uh, you know, carry out new meaningful tasks. One of the very interesting thing, and one that which we are one of the world leaders, we are probably one of the largest two centers in the US in this area, is called Semantic Web. And the idea here is to associate meaning to the data. And these technologies are now becoming the mainstay for the next generation of the web.